teenager might be. It, it, to him, it's a toy. How else is a dog going to play? He can't exactly grab a Game Boy, can he? <laughs> we keep our dogs tame and nice, and uh, I don't want anything getting a hold of my boy. Some of these bully events that we're having, there's people bringing dogs out there that are acting aggressive. I don't think those dogs should be allowed to be at any shows. I don't think they should be allowed to be brought in public at all. And I, I think on some levels, maybe that dog shouldn't even be alive. If you at a UKC show and you face a dog off, you out. The pit bull has different aspects and the modern day man done changed the aspects of the pit bull. The new thing with the bully people is getting bigger bone, bigger head. Only way you're going to get that overemphasized head on the pit bull is you got to go out of the pit bull strands. They look ferocious. They're scary looking dogs. A lot of characters want these dogs just for appearance. If a dog could be bling, then that's what you're seeing, is a dog that has turned into a piece of jewelry. Any breed of dog, not just ours, when they start breeding for specifics, specific size, specific color, specific heads, I'm afraid we're missing the point and we're not looking at the things that really matter. But my question is, can that dog work? Can he go out there and work? Can he weight pull? No matter how big he is, can he pull? This dog was never bred to be in the inner city. He was bred to be in the country working. This is a working breed. We're getting up to the 100 pound class and traditionally the 100 pound class and the 125 pound class will pull the maximum weights in a whole entire pull. So right now you see dogs that uh, well, should pull up in a uh, 4,000 pounds plus. My wife and I, we post about seven pulls per year. We were just out in Kansas for a poll. Next month we're going to be going out to Colorado for a big poll. We'll be going to England in May. My big boy Johnny will be coming out in 125 pound class. He weighs 114 pounds, so we'll be pulling him after the 100 pound class is done. Johnny is registered ADBA, and then my American Bulldogs are registered ABA, American Bulldog Association. To pull with the polling organizations, they're open to all breeds, so your dogs don't have to be registered. Every dog that's a good puller can pull with the IWPA or the UPF, the United Polling Federation. So that way you get the cream of the crop, you're going against the best that there is, period. Breezes up and he breezes pulling. Later, you get a pass or pull ISIS. Pass. ISIS passes. Okay. Dogs had always been a hobby of mine my whole life. I finally settled in with the American Bulldogs when I got involved with weight pulling. So my primary dogs are my American Bulldogs, but I've got my one big special boy, Johnny, here. Temperament-wise, they're real close. My American Bulldogs carry a little bit more muscle than these guys do. And what this one lacks in a little bit of muscle my American Bulldogs have, he makes up for it with his tenacity and his willingness to please me. Punch your pull. Sure. Sure. Come on. Sure. If it gets heavy for an American Bulldog, he'll tell you it's heavy and he'll stop. This guy, he won't stop. And so I'll, I'll stop him when I know that it's time for him to stop pulling. Like I said, if I'm judging, if I see a dog is obviously hurting, I'll stop it and I'll say it's over. I'd rather have a handler get mad at me than to see a dog be injured. Johnny, work. My big boy Johnny, he weighs 114 pounds. He's two years old now, he's not quite fully matured. This year though, pulling wise, he'll be coming into his own. This boy is kind of a tune-up for him and then comes January, we'll see how he stacks up against the best in the world. There's very few of these big guys out there. They're just line bred specifically for weight pulling. People think they're a mean breed. No, he's so darn friendly. 
that if somebody came up and sweet talked him, he'd probably just hop in their truck and go with them. Johnny knows what he's going to do. He's got his he's got his pulling clothes on and he's anxious to get going. <laughs> These guys just love to go out and pull. <laughs> Most ever he's, he's pulled. 4780. Give him a month or two and he's ready. I'd say right now he's just a click off the two top dogs are right now. Yeah. To uh, go to Colorado next month, yeah. I've had to file for papers to give me a 24 hour pass to have my dog in and out of the city of Denver. And, uh, and once my pass is expired, it's illegal for me to have this dog at the place where they're going to have the pull. The breed specific legislation does frighten me. It's just based on what a few bad eggs do to them and a perception that's really, as far as I'm concerned, has been painted in the press by what these dogs are because uh, it's totally against their nature to be aggressive to a human being. It's just not in their blood. It has to be put into them. There's a lot of hard work goes into making one of these guys bad. I think with this bay neuter and the legislation in other areas and in Europe, they're not allowed in Germany at all anymore. I think that they're trying to extinguish them slowly but surely. Banning the breed I don't think is right. I would rather see the counties and cities require anybody that's going to own a pit bull to obtain a license and maybe just be held to a kind of a higher standard to own one of those types of dogs. I think that's smart. They are an exceptional animal, but even if we had to get a, a rare exotic license to have them, I'd do that. I'd, I'd be happy with that. It's the owners, how you raise the dog, how you bring up the dog, how you train the dog, is how the dog is going to act. I think that what they should do is a lot more careful screening of who owns this animal and hold them to being the responsible caretaker of the pig. There's an extra responsibility involved. All of these animals need people as guardians who understand about how to raise an animal that is potentially dangerous. You have to do your homework on your dog before you get the dog and learn the proper techniques to have a breed like this. And even with training and even with socializing and all that good stuff, you're silly to ever think you can trust these guys not to fight. That's the nature of the beast. And if you have a problem with that, you probably shouldn't have them. They're being overbred to the point that they're filling up shelters. And whereas you can usually house three or four dogs in a large kennel, a lot of these dogs, they're not dog friendly. They have to be caged separately. So when you see 60% of a dog population in a shelter being pit bulls, you have to at the same time go, my God, what are they having to do with all these other dogs that they're trying to find homes for? If we don't take responsibility and somehow curb the numbers, the breed will be taken out of society. It's the people. It's not the dog.